Hi, Ken from Tanningbed Repair Guide. What is a bridge rectifier? Well, it looks like this. It's one of these little licorice kind of things, little black ones, and uh, a very common place for these to burn out is like the old ultra sun tanning beds. I remember replacing a ton of those. And uh, so what do they do? Well, they change AC power, which is what comes off of your t the service in the salon from the electrical service from the street, uh, which is alternating current where you have negative going down the middle or like you will have the, sorry, the uh, neutral line in the middle and then you have positive, negative, positive, negative. That kind of, that's why it has that name alternating current. And you want to change that into DC voltage, which is like the kind of like battery driven uh, kind of power. So like for the ultrasound, it was a deal where the uh, it was a battery backup. So if the power went out, the canopy will still go up. So it's very important. So that's why that that motor needed to be DC. And and so uh, this uh, bridge rectifier that we, we see here. Uh, what it does is that it using, it's using uh, diodes. Diodes are components. Uh, let me show you a diode, like an individual diode right here. And um, this thing can only run power through it one way. It will actually block from the other direction. So you can kind of like uh, decide what 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 direction the power should be and block the other way that's that's what you do with it so if you successfully can control all this what's happening down here and you can and you can do that by making this full wave bridge rectifier system that consists of four of these diodes and so you have the AC power coming in here on, on each side and on the bridge, uh, you will typically see, either they will not be marked or they will say AC because it doesn't matter if you, which, if you have like a neutral wire and a, and a, and a hot, for example, it doesn't matter which, which one that you're on. There's no polarization here. Or it could be that you need L1 and L2, but it, that will go on your on your uh, AC uh, legs, and then you have the one saying plus and the one saying minus. And minus would be actually this one down here, where the where the rectifier uh, a turn this way. So look at that. See, like they're turning only in one direction, and. Um, so you, you, oh, sorry. It's exactly the opposite here and here. How it will look like actually from a circuit point of view, like if you look at this right here, then all the, the power and a positive will be laid up like that. Like all these will be flipped around by doing this rectifying bridge. So this kind of power here will then all together look like something like that. Like it will have like little dips and raises, like just, just like that. But you can smoothen that out in the circuit. But that's, a, that's more than the bridge rectifier, really. This, this goes beyond this particular video. But what you will just do is that you will take what's called a capacitor and place it right here and that will kind of charge and and discharge and 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 even out this voltage here so that it becomes straight and the more capacity you put here the more that it will keep this dc straight so the more that you're pushing the circuit the more uh, capacitance you will need like the more uh, microfarads or maybe even millifarads you will need out of this capacitor to straighten that voltage so but this is what the bridge rectifier does it simply like takes the the uh, negative side of the AC and flips it up 
next to the other positive and it becomes essentially a DC voltage. Here's Ken from Tanning Bit Repair Guide. Take care, guys.